Hey, I'm Bob and I like to make stuff. Today I'm gonna show you how to make some really simple cornhole boards. I would cut at least in half to get it home. And I went ahead and cut that half in half so I have two 24 by 48 panels. Then I got the one by fours that I had bought and measured them to those same dimensions. Just wanna make a box around the outside of each of those panels. I used some scrap 2x4 to cut down the legs, and they're about 14 or 15 inches, I don't remember exactly, but you probably want to cut them oversized because you're going to end up cutting an angle on the bottom. Now I should have just gotten a compass out to make this curve, but I happened to have a coffee cup and it was pretty close. It doesn't have to be perfect because this curve is going to be up inside the board. It's really just so that the leg can swivel, you're not really going to see it. Um, and the coffee cup just kind of worked. Use the jigsaw to cut out all the curves and then lightly sanded everything. It doesn't have to be really well sanded because most of this is going to be hidden, painted over, or sanded later. I was just kind of knocking off all the edges. Normally you would use 2x4s for the frame. I wanted to use 1x4s to cut down on the weight and so I wanted to make sure that the joints were all really strong so I decided to use pocket holes. These joints take a little bit more time to make but with some glue they end up being very very strong. This little jig is only about $20. Now there's some fancier ones that cost more, but this one is a great way to do it, especially if you just want to try it out. I used some scrap 2x4 to make a little jig so that I could set these two pieces at a 90 degree angle, make it easier to screw them together. The two or three minutes it took to make that jig saved me quite a bit of hassle in trying to put these things together. Now make sure to glue all these joints as you're screwing them together and they end up being very, very strong. With the frame together, I ran a bead of glue around and laid on the plywood. Now I used brads to put the plywood on. You could also use screws, uh, but since I was using the 1x4s, I didn't want to run the risk of splitting the wood by running too many screws down into it. The glue and the brads together make a pretty strong bond. Then I measured 9 inches down from the top, 12 inches over from the side, right in the center of the board. Used the compass to make a 6 inch circle. Then I used the jigsaw to cut that circle out. Do the same thing on both pieces and just try to follow the line as best you can. This game isn't exact, so I don't think it really matters, but you want to try to get the circle six inches in diameter if you can. Now, I'm going to end up painting these, so I decided to go ahead and sand the top while I was working on it. And I used a drum sander to smooth out some of the spots on the inside of the hole that I couldn't quite get right with the jigsaw. The jigsaw is probably one of my least favorite saws to use. It just feels really inexact. And so this, uh, using the drum sander was a nice way to kind of smooth it out. Then you're ready to make the hole to attach the legs. This hole is going to be three and a half inches down from the top of the board and right in the center of the 1x4. I used a 5 16th bolt that was three and a half inches long, so just use a bit that's about the same size. Then you want to mark on the legs right in the center of the width of the leg and the same distance from the top of your curve. It's got to rotate with that bolt as the center point, so you want it to be the same distance in all directions. When it's setting on the ground, the top of the board needs to be 12 inches from the ground, so I propped it up on some stuff and then marked a line at where the angle should be. I just measured and transferred that angle to each of the legs from the original one. I didn't really pay attention to what the angle was, I just matched it up on the miter saw and then cut them all. When I put all the legs on this time, I used some Loctite, and that keeps the threads locked in place so that the bolt and the nut will all spin as you turn the legs, but it won't unscrew itself. Next, I screwed on a nice big chunky handle onto the center of one of the boards. I got a couple of these safety latches from Home Depot and marked the center point in the end of the boards with both of them stacked on top of each other. It's just a matter of setting these in place and marking the holes and drilling the holes and then screwing them in. It's pretty straightforward, but you want to make sure that when you're putting these on, you put them opposite from end to end. Each board should have the latch on one end and the turning piece on the opposite end. Now these were a commission for a friend of mine and so I'm going to be painting them specific to what they asked and add some graphics and things. 
If you make these, you're really gonna need to at least prime them, but probably prime and paint them to make sure that the wood holds up to just the moisture that comes out of the dirt when you set them in your yard. Now, I also used one by fours for the sides just to cut down on weight since you could carry it around. But if you're not planning on carrying it around, using two by fours will make them a little bit heavier, a little bit sturdier, and they'll probably have a little less bow to them than the ones that I made. I know that there's a lot of videos out there um, making cornhole boards. This isn't a new project, this isn't a really unique project, but it was something that I had to accomplish for a friend of mine, and so I thought maybe you'd be interested in seeing it. If you want to keep up with all the projects that I have going on and the Maker 101 videos that I have coming up, be sure to subscribe and then check out IlikeToMakeStuff.com. There's a lot of stuff there that's not on YouTube. Uh, there's a lot of plans for projects that I make. There's a lot of how-tos that are not video related. So be sure to check that out. You can also have a conversation with me on Facebook. I'm pretty interactive there and Instagram. I do a lot of conversations with people there about the projects that I'm currently working on and things that I have coming up soon. And if you'd like to help support these videos, uh, it would make a really big difference to me. Um, you can do just a little bit, you can do a lot, you can do whatever you want, and you can cancel at any time. And the best way to do that is to go to my Patreon page. There's a video there that explains how your support helps me, and even a dollar or a little bit of support from you goes a really long way for helping me continue to produce these videos and these projects. I really appreciate you guys watching, um, and I'm loving some of the comments that I'm getting lately and the conversations that we're having. It's really great, and I'd love to do more of that stuff. So um, leave me some comments below. Let me know what you think of this. Check out the other videos. Leave me some comments. Let's talk about some stuff. I want to see what you're working on, and I want to show you stuff that I'm working on. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Today we're going to make some really simple cornhole, cornhole boards.